I didn't tell her that she had got cancer. Oh, I think if she knew, if she knew that she had got cancer, she would be very sorry for that. This week on Cancer Warriors, we head to Myanmar to meet two individuals who have endured the ordeal of cancer and live to tell their tale of hope. Love me tender, love me true, for my dreams come true. ကြောင်းအတီးတီကိုပြောင်းရွှေ့လာပြီးတော့နောက်ဆုံးမန်ဒလေးရိုးကအပတ်စစ်ချောက်အထက်ကအဲ့မှာကျမချောက်နှစ
Kinso felt her body was trying to tell her something was wrong. She had difficulty sleeping and felt feverish, suffering bouts of severe sweating. She was also losing her appetite and lost 9 kilograms in 3 months. Then came the 2 month long fever that landed her in hospital. Her situation is very bad. She didn't know oh, is it, uh, it is day or night at that time. Her fever was uh, nearly 1 or 4 and never dropped down her fever. So we determined uh, to, f to find a way. Distressed to see Kinzo so ill, her family began to seek help from various doctors. Finally, in November, an abdominal ultrasound showed a mass. Doctors in Myanmar suggested a cancer could be the cause. I didn't tell her that she had got uh, that lymphoma is a kind of cancer. Desperate to find the best treatment for his mother, Thura Luin sought advice from those closest to him. A friend recommended Dr. Ku of Parkway Cancer Center in Singapore. To get in touch with Dr. Ku, Thura turned to Kanho. Some of my friends told me that BCC is good for cancer, very good for cancer. So I found um, the agent of BCC at Manali. Win Tian and Kinzo's journeys up to this point had led both of them to the same place, the Can Hope office in Mandalay. And for better or worse, they were about to receive the answers they had been searching for. And we'll continue to monitor.